Percy loathed working in the yard near Vickerstown. Engines from the other railway would pass through. Sometimes Percy would see friends such as flying Scotsmen. But more and more often it was the work of diesels to travel through the big city into Sodor. I can hardly imagine the fat controller gets any work done at all with such little engines at work. I present that remark. I think you mean resent, Percy. And those silly diesels are to be simply ignored. We're not little engines. We're medium-sized engines. That wasn't my point, Percy. My point was that no matter... <laughs> oh dear. It seems I've run out of juice. Juice? I thought you ran on electricity. Right then. If you could be so kind as to shunt me to the power station, please. You know, for me to be recharged. Oh, right. Sure thing. Percy was just beginning to reverse when he spotted a small purple engine puffing towards him. Hello there, Stafford. Salutations, little Bufford. I've never seen you before. Did the Coldy Fowl need another new engine? <laughs> no, I belong to the power station. I bring coal down from the hills to be fired. Stafford, do you know what I've just realised? What? Little engines can do big things. Just look at little Barford here, working his very own line, bringing coal from the hills. Yes, Percy. Amazing. Excuse me, M Mr. Diesel. Have you been to the Peel Godred line before? No. Where is it, Sodor? Of course not. Well, I went there today, and I learnt that no matter how little an engine might be, they can all do big things. And I want you to know that 10,000 years ago I was born in a lake of sulfur. I watched you being built. I will be your dismantling. I will fill my chair in hell with your family and laugh. I am the end. I am time. Percy was being fired up when Stafford returned the next morning. Hello Stafford, take care with that Diesel 261 if he passes through today. Are you still working on your response for what he said yesterday? No, we're well past that. Last night he said something to me that was far worse. And what did he say? It's... Hard to repeat. Something about a lake. A lake? Hmm. Whatever it was, I'll never have a comeback for it. Percy stayed frustrated for the rest of the day. Percy returned to the power station the next day with a load of supplies. He was still fuming over what the diesel had said to him. What's the matter, friend? A diesel said something rude to me. I got over it, but the next night, he said something even ruder. 
Friend, don't worry about what diesels say. I'm used to bigger engines teasing me for my size all the time. I mean, it's written right here on my tanks. But I don't mind. It has nothing to do with how useful I am. Even though that diesel said terrible things to you, you don't always have to waste energy proving him wrong when the truth is so obvious. Percy felt enlightened. The little engine was very wise. I see. I see. Thank you, little Barford. <laughs> of course, friend. That night, Percy found it easier to sleep. Being confident in who he was helped him a lot, and being away from Vickerstown and back on his own branch line with his friends helped even more.